Good morning. <laughs> Professor Simon here, and what this is is really just a rant and some help and advice to fellow YouTube creators because YouTube have really messed up this whole Beirut bomb story for us filmmakers who are trying to investigate what really happened. Let me explain what they did to me. And if you work for YouTube and see this, please respond to me personally, because what you did is wrong. So I'm a science researcher. I've worked in broadcast all my life, and I decided to do a film of the science of the Beirut bomb, not the atrocities, not blown up bodies, not human suffering, because I know Google AdSense, Google AdWords and YouTube would not monetize a film that had excessive violence and human suffering in it. So I totally fulfilled Google AdSense and YouTube policy for films about commentating on current affairs. And they now want us to self-certify that the film is about a sensitive subject, but that's okay because they now have a policy saying monetization is approved. And YouTube suggests a second step because they know there's a flaw in their system. And the second step is that when you finish the film, you have it checked by YouTube by leaving it unlisted, not going public, but unlisted for maybe a few hours, even better overnight, and you will get a more accurate rating by this so-called algorithm that they put it through. And I understand why it's just computer checked. And my film on the science of the Beirut bomb was green lighted, monetization, perfect, left it for a few hours and it was all set to go. So in one giant leap for mankind and my little finger, I pressed public and boof, immediately a yellow demonetized icon appears with an ability for me to appeal for a human to double check that the algorithm was correct in demonetizing this video, which it wasn't. And here's the problem. And I understand COVID-19 is an issue for YouTube right now, but films on YouTube have a life expectancy of 48 hours. People love new stuff. So however popular, however great your film might be, after two days, you've missed the initial surge of new people watching it and you've only got the long tail of people catching up and you've missed any potential income as a creator from people watching the film. But if you have to appeal because the algorithm has demonetized your video, it can take up to seven days. Well, seven days is no damn good because people will have stopped watching the film. And that is exactly what's just happened to me. 46,000, nearly 50,000 people watch my science of the Beirut bomb with no adverts and no income from me because it was incorrectly flagged by the YouTube algorithm as inappropriate for adverts. So I asked for it to be checked and it's actually taken three days. So here's day three, and of course, it was approved because the YouTube algorithm got it wrong. So for us creators who are the backbone, in fact, the only source of income for Google and YouTube, we're screwed. Come on, YouTube. Get your act together. You need to support us creators better. Trust us. If we make films which are not controversial, do not use racial slur words, are not extremely violent, flag us as approved. And so when we upload a film, you know, because we want to fulfill your policy, we do fulfill your policy, and you should trust us us more. It's just not sustainable for creators to make content for YouTube and get no income because you effed 
up. This simply isn't working. Thank <laughs> you.